Welcome to English News in a Minute, where you give us 60 seconds and we give you the world. 90 year old starts elementary school. A 90 year old Kenyan grandmother has become the world's oldest elementary school student. Priscilla Sitieni, also known as Gogo, is from a small village in Kenya. She is studying at the local elementary school to learn to read and write. Miss Sitieni has spent most of her life working as a midwife, helping to deliver babies. She wants to be able to read and write so she can pass on her midwifery skills and write down the special herbal remedies she uses when she delivers babies. She also wants to be able to read the Bible. Sitieni said she never had a chance to go to school when she was younger. She said she knows she is old, but hopes she will set an example to younger people. She wants all the children in her village to study. When Miss Sitieni first tried to enroll at the school, the head teacher, David Kinyandri, Did not think it was a good idea. Now he is very happy that Gogo is at the school. Mr. Kinyandri said Gogo is a blessing and a motivator. He added, I'm very proud of her. She is loved by every pupil. They all want to learn and play with her. He also said, She is doing well considering her age. I can say I have seen a big difference in this school since she came. Gogo had a message for children everywhere saying, I want to say to the children of the world, especially girls, that education will be your wealth. She added, With education, you can be whatever you want a doctor. Lawyer or a pilot? Now let's answer a few true or false questions. The world's oldest elementary school student is also a grandmother. This is true. Gogo is a grandmother and she is 90 years old. The student lives in the capital city of Kenya. This is false. Gogo lives in a small village in Kenya. The woman wants to be able to write about things in her job. This is true. She wants to be able to read and write so she can pass on her midwifery skills. The woman wants all the children in her village to study. This is true. She wants boys and girls both to study. The school head teacher always wanted the woman to join the school. This is false. At first, the head teacher did not think it was a good idea. Not all of the students in the school like the old lady. This is false. She is loved by every pupil. The head teacher said the woman made a big difference to the school. This is true. The head teacher said all the students want to learn and play with her. The woman had a special message just for boys. This is false. She had a special message for children everywhere. Annual and yearly. Student and pupil. Local and neighborhood. Pass on and give. Remedies and cures. Chance and opportunity. 
enroll, and register, blessing, and gift, considering, and taking into account, especially, and particularly, wealth, and riches. Now here's a question for you to discuss with your friends and family. We should all study something for all our life. Agree or disagree? Thanks for listening and be sure to join us on our next English News in a Minute.